This story is from a subscriber who shared it because she could no longer hold it in. She was too embarrassed to tell anyone she knew. My name is Anna, I'm 24 years old, and I recently graduated from college. I studied very hard, so my personal life never really worked out either I didn't have enough time because I also worked part-time, or I met the wrong people. After I graduated from college, I almost got married. There was a guy I liked he was very sweet at first. He proposed to me, but I asked for time, and we agreed to live together without getting officially married. We lived together for a while in an apartment his parents gave him, but in the end it didn't work out. We fought a lot, he insulted me all the time, and I left with my head held high. At that time, a friend of mine was in a similar situation and we rented an apartment together. After a month, she found a new boyfriend, and without much thought, she pulled me aside and said, Anna, you see, me and Dave are together, and you're the third wheel. Her words left me speechless. I was thrown out on the street like a dog. But I swallowed my indignation and told my friend, Fine, I understand. Two days later, I moved out, and deleted her number as soon as I walked out the door. I had nowhere to go. I had to resort to extreme measures, so I called my sister and asked if I could stay with her for a few days. They had their own house and a lot of space. I didn't want to go to Emily's because she had a very difficult personality. I already knew that she would start lecturing me and trying to educate me. And that's exactly what happened no sooner had I entered the house than my sister started lecturing me. Anna, you're so thoughtless, you need to use your head. I wasn't in the mood to argue with her, and I had no choice, but unexpectedly her husband Mark came to my rescue. He hugged my sister and said, Emily, it happened the way it happened. And he said to me, You can go in, don't stand in the doorway, and winked. Confused, I blinked as Mark carried the bags of my belongings into the room. But I hadn't spent two days with them before Emily found a purpose for me. The next day, my sister asked me to clean the windows while she got her nails done. I reluctantly agreed, because it's embarrassing to refuse. They gave me a cloth with cleaning solution and I started to clean the glass noticing that my sister's husband was discreetly watching me. I was tired and sweating from the heat outside. Mark asked me, Anna, are you tired? I weakly protested, Emily will scold me. Mark smiled, hugged me from behind and whispered in my ear, she won't. I was overcome with embarrassment. Doubts overwhelmed me. He held me so gently that thoughts of resistance simply didn't arise. Maybe because I hadn't had anyone in my life for a long time. And we did just that. After my sister returned, we all sat down to dinner together as if nothing had happened. Later I asked Mark what I should do now. He replied not to worry, just forget about it. I got my revenge on your sister for not letting me go to the reunion, he said. A week later I moved out and rented a room from an elderly woman. After all that happened, I became very disillusioned with people. Friends were betrayed, a sister was exploited, and my sister's husband used me so easily to take revenge for a minor offense. It disgusts me to think about it.